Okay, welcome, and today we're going to talk about order of operations. Okay, so these are the steps that whenever you're dealing with problems with the basic operations, exponents, roots, uh, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, and then also including parentheses, grouping symbols in there as well. This is the way you want to handle them in order to get the correct answer every time. Okay, lots of people mess up order of operations, um, and this is a thing that you have to, to understand. Okay, uh, on social media, you get these things where people will say, Oh, solve this problem, and they look, it's just a math problem. And most people get it wrong. If you look at the comments on Facebook with some of these things, most of the people are getting it wrong because they're not applying order of operations. Okay, so what are the order of oper operations? You start with parentheses or grouping symbols, okay? So grouping symbols are not only parentheses and brackets, but also absolute value signs, okay? Um, those are also grouping symbols. So anything that's a grouping symbol that's grouping things together, you want to do first. And the way you work for them, you work with the innermost parentheses and you either simplify it or you use the distributive property, and then you work your way out to the outermost ones. And basically, you're trying to eliminate the parentheses from the innermost parentheses out, okay? By either simplifying what's inside or by using the distributive property, whichever is appropriate. So that's first. Then, after you take care of the parentheses, the grouping symbols, then you evaluate expo exponents. Anything with an exponent or a root. Okay, you want to do those next, and you want to do those in order from left to right. Okay, so evaluate exponents, anything with an exponent or a root, you want to do those next. Okay, then followed by that, you want to do multiplication division in order from left to right. And then once you do all of those, then you want to do the adding and subtracting in order from left to right. If you follow these steps, you will always get the correct answer when it comes to arithmetic, okay, and these, these uh, operations. Now, the, I put these symbols out here, these letters, to help you remember the order of operations. And so these letters come together to make PEMDAS. And so PEMDAS means parentheses, exponents, which again it includes roots, so parentheses, exponents, multiplication, then division, addition, subtraction. So PEMDAS. Or if you want the acronym, there's a couple acronyms. You could use please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Or you can use uh, another one I've heard is uh, uh, parachute expert, my dear Aunt Sally. Okay, as a title, I guess. So, but again, you want to remember the order of operations because that's going to help you tremendously when we start getting more complicated looking problems. Have a great day.